Hello there, everybody. This is Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers from the WTLM and Weather Team, sitting alongside a very hard working team uh, <laughs> through this winter storm. We've got meteorologist John Birchfield and meteorologist Matt Willoughby, and we're joining you right now across various platforms WTL 11 Plus, YouTube, uh, uh, WTL.com, of course, keeping you up to date on this winter storm. Yep. Uh, guys, let me get your initial thoughts. John Birchfield, I'll start with you. We finally have seen the return to some wintry weather. How about this? Yep. Winter's officially back. I had a viewer tell me this looked like the scene from Home Alone where he's looking out the window <laughs> watching his family come back. These are some big old flakes, the kind you see in the movies. It doesn't get any better than this. It was a heavy, dense, packing snow. Um, hope you threw a snowball at someone for me. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. Speaking of heavy, my goodness, is this snow heavy. It is perfect for making a snowman, perfect for a snowball fight, or maybe those snow wars that you may be getting into. But uh, it's a chore to shovel that driveway. Yeah, and we'll that. talk that in a little bit. But if you're maybe thinking of... Uh, Hitting the sled riding hills, meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Do you have any insight on that? Oh, yeah, I definitely had some insight in it. It was uh, pretty fun out there. I mean, the snow was very compact down, and uh, it was out at Mommy Bay, and that snow uh, was kind of just blowing across the area. So it was, it was very fun, and you'll be able to see that video coming up soon. Uh, Matt, set the record straight. As part of your work day, you got to go, you got to go sled riding today. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was one of, one of the bigger hills out there, so it was, it was definitely a fun time uh, racing uh, Tyler Segerman out there. So, yeah, we'll very cool. see that yeah. video later. Looking forward to seeing that more on WT. TOL 11 uh, at 5 and 6, and perhaps you could be able to catch that on YouTube as well. John, why don't you take us through the unwinding of this winter storm, because we are still seeing active snow that is falling across parts of the area uh, through our uh, Wednesday evening. We're not entirely done with the snowfall quite yet, are we? Yep, still seeing a few more hours of snowfall, and the road conditions are still going to be slick and slow going through the evening. Right now, as we watch low pressure move through the Buckeye State, it's areas mainly north and west of Toledo that are still seeing the heavy snow, especially southeast Michigan and fall Far northern Lucas and Fulton counties, looking from West Toledo and Sylvania back towards Berkey and Metamora. Perhaps you're headed westbound on Route 20. You're going to be seeing some heavy wet snow out of this system. And then southeastern Michigan up towards Lenawee County also getting snowed on pretty good. But you're likely seeing a little bit of a break if you live White House on to the south, perhaps towards Waterville and Tontogany, uh, where the snow is turning a little bit lighter there further south. Right, absolutely. We've got uh, snow that is coming down, and uh, <coughs> we're going to try to get kind of a live look at uh, at least how some of the road conditions were. John, why don't you explain that? You've been out on the roadways. Matt, you can also kind mm -hmm. of uh, uh, chime in on this, uh, on how road conditions have been. Yeah, overall, you know, the major interstates are going to be a little bit better. There's still a little grazing of snow on there. And of course, even if you have all wheel drive, just take it easy. Drive slower than you normally would. This is 475 and Cruz really did a great job clearing yep. that off, especially with how dense the snow is. And I think one of the reasons the roads are more clear is because the road salt and the pretreatment is more effective at these milder temperatures. Um, even when it's 32 mm -hmm. or 34 degrees, that salt's going to work a lot better than that storm we got before Christmas where the temperatures are dipping down near zero. And was that a spinoff there? On that? Did, did you just catch one, John? Let's see. Oh, wow. I see a truck. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's no oh, good man. there. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, it looks like a jackknife uh, semi truck, oh, of course, man. off to the side. But yes. uh, that was uh, perhaps an indication of somebody going a little mm -hmm. too quick, a little yeah. too yeah. fast. Yeah. Matt, you were out on the roadways. Did you mm -hmm. see any major issues? And kind of what was your take on uh, the road conditions that we had across the area? Yeah, so I was out on the roadways this morning. Not too bad this morning, as, of course, uh, a lot of those roads were treated very early. So not too bad this morning, but just right at 12 o'clock uh, when that heavy snow started to come in, that's when. Uh, those roads started to kind of get a little poor out there uh, and it was oh that was kind of hard to catch up with that yeah. snow but once we got a little break in it they was able to catch up and then of course we still have a little bit of some uh, heavy snowfall right now uh, so it was a little bit uh, dicey out in, in the Oregon area Mommy Bay area uh, of course, and those, a lot of those country roads uh, were a little bit dicey and not necessarily plowed over yet. So if you're joining us now south and east of the Toledo Metro, as we highlighted as we were forecasting this storm, a little bit of a different conditions for the folks uh, south and east of uh, Toledo. Seneca County, Erie, Huron County, Wyandotte and Crawford County really didn't turn out to be much of a storm for you. We didn't expect that you were going to get the higher end snow mm -hmm. totals. We were calling for up to three, four, perhaps five inches of snow in some of those areas. And it does look like that you were going to see minimal amount of accumulation. I uh, haven't had a ton of reports out of there, but much of the afternoon we've at least been getting some sleet or rain mixing in, which significantly has limited some of those snow reports. But John, here in the Toledo Metro, we've had actually some decent yeah. reports of some heavier well, snow. Yeah, this storm finally put Toledo in the sweet spot. It's about time. We are due for one. <laughs> but overall, all these snowfall reports fall within the ballpark that we forecast. Generally speaking, around four inches or so, but some folks saw
saw a little bit more. And it is tough to just go out and stick a ruler in the ground with mm -hmm. how dense this snow is. It's weighing itself down. Essentially, gravity is making it look like there's less snow than there actually is. We call that compaction, where the snow presses down against itself. And mm -hmm. we've gotten a good deal of snow, but it might not look like quite as much simply because of how wet and heavy this is. Very heavy snow. Matt, yeah. you can confirm that one. Good packing snow, isn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah, good packing snow. I, I picked one right up, my, right up off my car and just kind of compacted it very easily and I was able to throw it at somebody. I'm not did, you, say did you throw it at Tyler Segerman? That's <laughs> I the did. question. Yeah. Yeah, was did. it a bullseye? Yeah, it was definitely a bullseye. Right, right, right at his back. So, yeah. Very nice. So you're picking up on uh, the good old days of uh, playing sports, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Fun stuff. All right, guys. So let's take people forward of what to expect the rest of the evening. We're not entirely done with the snow showers. Uh, we're on the tail end of this system, so the vast majority of our accumulation, especially as we go into Wednesday evening, will be wrapping up, but snow showers are still going to be possible. Travel is going to be poor. It always takes the time for road crews to get out there. John mentioned the uh, salt much more effective at these temperatures. We're right around the lower 30s, uh, but we're going to be headed after dark tonight. E even during the daylight hours, it, it's hard to kind of grasp this concept, but the sun even shining through the clouds, even though we don't physically see it, it does offer some melting power yeah. uh, on the roadways. We won't get that as we get after dark. So the point being is still going to have some slippery and poor travel. It's going to be into the area tonight. Yeah. Matt, why don't you take us through uh, the start of this hour by hour forecast because we are getting close to the tail end of this system. Uh, rain snow mix uh, still along and uh, south and east of the Tsuno Metro. In yes. fact, just pure rain in some areas. But what's the outlook for snow as we go into the evening tonight? Yeah, so that snow will eventually start to taper off. You'll still have some spots, some uh, little spotty, spotty snow showers out there where you'll see just some times where it'll just a dumped a little bit of a light snow. But overall, going to at least see that widespread snow shower start to end as we head into the night hours and even into tomorrow morning. And John, you take us through Thursday then because we're yeah. not entirely done with the snow. Some light on and off snow showers going to be yep. expected Thursday as yeah. well. Also worth noting that as that system clears on out, the winds are going to become a little bit colder out of the west north. Northwest, and sometimes that can fuel some snow showers on the back end of that. You know, today we had a light east breeze, thankfully not much blowing, but with that cooler northwest wind for Thursday, could see a little bit of lake enhancement sometimes off Lake Michigan, um, and just a little bit of residual moisture that could produce some snow showers. Again, a brief coating possible, but the worst of the travel is going to be today and tonight. Hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, things will shape up to be a little better. So through the course of Thursday, safe to say it is going to be less than an inch of an accumulation, just enough to kind of keep that fresh snow. Uh, light and fluffy, hopefully on top of that uh, fresh, heavier snow that we've seen over the past uh, several hours. And it will continue into Thursday evening. A little bit of a break into Friday, and then we get hit again, Matt. we got a clipper system on Friday that comes into the area. Yeah, that clipper system will roll through a Friday. Uh, we'll see some uh, another uh, chance of some snowfall out there, anywhere from possibly one to two inches, uh, possibly as we head into Friday. So got a clipper system. The thing about this clipper system, John, you're very familiar with these. Uh, they they bring a really sharp increase in the wind speeds as well. So Friday's mm -hmm. going to turn breezy. Didn't have much wind to deal with with this storm system, yep. but breezy conditions along with the snow that's going to be flying Friday. Yeah, certainly a wintry feeling day late in the day. That snow rolling on through as we hit the air on WTOL 11. Going to be seeing some snow showers on radar. By no means this is no comparison to the storm we got today, but it'll freshen up the snow a little bit. You know, um, cover it up a little bit with that fresh blanket of accumulation. So to recap, we've got snow Wednesday today. We've got mm. some snow showers Thursday, Thursday, less than an inch of accumulation. Snow showers into Friday then with a clipper system. Winter has finally <laughs> woken up and has uh, kind of gotten its act together very quickly here in late January. Yeah, definitely got the ball rolling now on some uh, winter snowfall. So hopefully we can catch up uh, to where our usually average is um, as we head into February pretty much. You will get yeah. the final totals from yeah. today in a little bit, but we had a really sharp deficit of about yeah. 14 inches yeah, from low normal. We put a little dent in it, so to speak, but we've got a long way to go. But we also still do have the uh, whole month of February yes. to, to work through sure as do. well. Uh, so kind of sum up uh, alert day. Where, what were we expecting going into this Wednesday and how did it unfold? Uh, we called for four to seven inches of an accumulation mm -hmm. at, at this time right now. We've already seen numerous areas, four, five, even some areas that maybe get close to six inches. That is generally west and north of the Toledo Metro. The wintering mix to the south and to the east most winter storms have that complex variable, John, where we get this wintry mix. Um, tell us how that factored into this particular storm. Yeah, the wintry mix obviously makes for less snow, but still some travel impacts. So locations south and east of the Maumee River, like Seneca County, Crawford and Wyandotte, saw a little bit more of that sleet, a little more rain even mixing in there. And, and that usually translates to less in terms of snowfall, whereas the Toledo Metro got just about all snow and therefore a little more snow.
at times really big snowflakes. I mean, they yeah. were like wafers yeah. coming down. It was just yeah. beautiful. Kids that were off of school, we had many, many, many districts that were closed for the day. Uh, the kids were out there enjoying the snow, making snow forts, snowman, uh, and having a snowball fight, as they should be yeah. Yeah. Uh, after they uh, got the driveways cleared off, I hope. Yeah, Snow brings out the kid and everyone, right, Matt? Yeah, the kids were uh, definitely, I mean, I felt like a kid out there when I was just sledding. But, yeah, the kids, kids were definitely out uh, sledding for today. Like it, and they should be, and they should be enjoying these snow days. But let's talk a little bit uh, hard labor and hard work here. If you haven't been out yet to shovel the driveway, uh, let's get a little nerdy with some science <laughs> about this. So did a little research on this, guys. When we talk about the dangers of shoveling heavy snow, mm. this is exactly what we're talking about. John, you felt this snow. It's just logged with yeah. water and very heavy, isn't it? Yeah, and you'll remember, actually, for our winter weather special, if you caught that, I interviewed mm. a couple of ProMedica cardiologists who talked about the dangers, especially in the elderly, in those with coronary heart disease and other pre-existing conditions. It's, it's really tough physical labor, especially when the snow is so dense and wet. Um, and it can really translate to elevating your heart rate and perhaps you know working up a sweat. It's, it's a pretty good workout shoveling this kind of snow. It is, and it's heavy. Yeah. Matt felt it, he Definitely did heavy. it. Uh, he saw it when he was zipping down the sled riding hill. So generally speaking, the weight of snow, it, it can vary by moisture content, but this is kind of sort of towards the higher end. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be about 13 pounds pounds per cubic foot. Ooh. That's a lot yeah, of weight. Yeah. Each cubic foot that would be over your driveway. Now we're not getting quite a full foot of snow. Mm -hmm. So areas that see about six inches of snow uh, would it see a driveway that covers about 640 square feet. That's about an average driveway that's uh, let's say 16 feet wide, about 40 feet long. Uh, it's about 640 square feet. How much does that snow weigh that you would be shoveling one shovel at a time off that driveway and heaving it? Yeah. If you do the math, for six inches of snowfall, the snow shovel weight wow. that you'd be uh, heaving would be 4,160 pounds. Wow. That is over two tons of snow. And John, now you can see why. If you are not conditioned for that, if you are not feeling up for that, please don't overexert yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to ask for help or don't be afraid to take frequent breaks or yes. acclimate yourself to the conditions before you go out there and really put it to a chore. And those with snowblowers are probably loving this. They finally got a chance to break out the snowblower and show off their <laughs> heavy-duty equipment there. I've had so many people tell me that they finally bought a brand-new snowblower this winter <laughs> season of all seasons, and I tell them that is the best insurance policy that you could do at the beginning of a winter season to assure that you don't get snow. Go out and buy a brand-new snowblower. It kind of scares Mother Nature away. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely does. And it makes it a little bit easier uh, out there for as well, just to kind of snowboy. But, yeah, definitely take those uh, breaks if you are shoveling that snow uh, as we get into tomorrow. Another cool little fun fact with yep. this, that weight of that snow, 4,160 pounds, that is the weight of a brand-new fully loaded Jeep Wrangler. Whew. So wow. wow. That's how equivalent to what that you what you'd be shoveling. Maybe better yet, send the kids out to shovel the driveway and uh, do the neighbor's driveway while they're at it as uh, that snow is really thick and heavy. A uh, quick little recap of what we were talking about, uh, wrapping up our heavy snow shoveling. How much more snow to expect? Accumulation is going to be very minimal the rest of this evening. There will be some overnight snow showers. What's your thoughts on travel tomorrow morning, guys? Because it still does take road crews, especially rural areas, sidewalks, side streets to actually get out there and uh, yep. uh, clean things up. Still could be dicey tomorrow morning in a few spots. Yep, and especially with temperatures dropping to the upper 20s, we will see those bridges and overpasses in particular. See a little bit of refreezing potential. Mm -hmm. You know, 475, 75. Yeah. The major ones will be fine. The neighborhood roads, yep. the back roads, the country roads that often yep. are more difficult to get to, those will still be snow covered in spots with some slush and slick areas. Very good point on that, John. Uh, and as we talked about the additional snow to, to come, this is really late tonight night and into Thursday. Most areas going to be around an inch or less. Our models are indicating there could be a little sweet spot down towards Seneca County. Areas that really didn't see as much snow much. as yeah. other uh, locations. You still could get, we'll say, around an inch of an accumulation uh, as we go through Thursday. Then that clipper system that comes in Friday, that gives a, a half an inch to an inch of snow uh, Friday afternoon and Friday yeah. evening. Just enough to kind of keep things, I guess, fresh because yeah. the thing mm -hmm. that I don't like after a snowstorm, it's just so beautiful and pretty, but then it gets grimy. Mm -hmm. And muddy and dirty yeah. and muddy really quick. Uh, next couple of days, we'll at yeah. least offer a fresh coating of yep. light snow on top of that. Shouldn't cause too many travel delays and disruptions. Yep, just classic wintry weather as we finally welcome in 
Old man winter. Oh, well, we can say that, <laughs> yes. Um, so we will see our alert day falling off here uh, as we go into the evening tonight. Uh, less than an inch of snow for Thursday. Uh, Friday, there's that light snow, but gusty winds are going to pick up as we go into Friday. And then mainly cloudy, cooler conditions Saturday. Sunday, we've got another system. They just keep coming, guys. Yep. Uh, another system Saturday night and into Sunday. It's tricky. We're still getting through this one first, mm -hmm. getting through tomorrow in the Clipper system. Uh, could bring a rain-snow mix or a sloppy mix to the area. We don't expect it's going to be anything significant, not uh, anything that uh, we would need to issue an alert day, at least at this point for, but it's something we're keeping a close eye on. Yeah, Saturday definitely looks like the best chance of at least a quick break of that snow before it possibly the wintry mix kind of returns Saturday night. So if you need to get that sh uh, snow shoveling done at least uh, Saturday morning or even in Saturday afternoon, you should be good to go. Good to go. Well, yeah. we had fun with this one, didn't we? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep, can't wait to see you sledding and <laughs> maybe throwing that snowball. Oh, just wait for it. And uh, uh, meteorologist Matt Willoughby will be out live in Defender this evening yep. as well. Keep it a uh, check on the road conditions. John Birchfield, you're going to be holding it down right here in the studio as well. We finally saw a return to winter. Final. Are you kind of excited about it? Oh, yeah, I was definitely excited about it. Just waking up this morning, I was like, all right, I'm ready to see some snow. Where it is a sled and everything like that. So definitely excited to finally get some measurable snowfall and hopefully uh, we'll see some more as we end the February. I, I worked the night shift last night <laughs> and uh, didn't get to bed till uh, maybe almost one o'clock. And I woke uh, up at 630 this morning <laughs> and I couldn't go back to bed because I was so excited about the snow coming yeah. in. So I've enjoyed it as well. I know it's a hassle traveling and mm -hmm. getting out and about causes disruptions, but uh, it is winter, John. This is the time we were of due year. for it. We were so. due for it, and uh, we're due for a little bit more snow that does still yet to come. Yep. Yep. Stay tuned for the latest, and we'll see you on the air tonight. We will do that, and we will leave you with these alert day details. And we appreciate you joining us for this update on WTOL 11 Plus, WTOL.com, or on YouTube. Any way that we could keep you connected to that WTOL 11 weather forecast, we will do that. And of course, always check out the WTOL 11 free weather app. It is a great tool as we encounter winter storms, spring storms, summer storms, whatever you're looking at. We will keep you alert to what is ahead. Have a great Wednesday. Stay safe and enjoy the snow.